Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games, and welcome back to my German Socialist Republic campaign here in Hearts of Iron 4 in the name of the Tsar. So it's been a bit of a while uh, between sessions, so this is going to be a cool episode though because the war against Russia will begin. It's, uh, it's actually, I think, been, believe it or not, it might have been about a, it's been about a year and a half. Or, or give or take, uh, with, since I last played Germany in any version of Hearts of Iron 4 and invaded Russia. Uh, at least on, or on YouTube, and uh, that was a long time ago. That was when I was doing my Germany World Conquest in Vanilla Hearts of Iron 4. And if I remember correctly, uh, my paratroopers were glitching out, and uh, they just... Yeah, I kept trying to jump, and I had air superiority and transports and all sorts of things, and they just wouldn't jump. I probably was just doing something wrong at the time. But basically, this stalemate had happened uh, because, frankly, I had made pretty bad infantry divisions. Uh, but then I ended up making just two heavy tank divisions. And these things, even though they were slow, they could just go everywhere at will because I think I made them 40 widths. And so they would just I would just point at a victory... Uh, point and they would just you know roll over to it nice and slow and so I just rolled up to Petrograd Moscow Stalingrad and just I was I wasn't even encircling anything I just was having cheap units fill in the lines and I eventually broke through but I think prior to that I had been in like a two year straight stalemate and I was going very fast too I think it was one of those ones where I had beaten the allies in like 10 months uh, but I just just was stuck in Russia hopefully that does not happen this time now, um, what I've decided I'm actually going to do instead here with Leon Trotsky, uh, I, well, I technically can't do it yet. I have to wait for the war to actually begin, which is going to happen in just a few days here, uh, is uh, I'm going to just have just do the full field mar martial order everywhere. So then just in case if there's one breakthrough, things don't get messy. But also, I'm planning to break through myself, of course. Also, I've been reflecting on it, and I've decided I would much rather have... Um, these 24 tank divisions further north up here like i'm kind of thinking about maybe do do the you know come come here um kind of between lots and wait a minute oh there's krakow yeah kind of kind of push between lots and krakow here towards uh radom and then the 24 i have up here are gonna push down towards uh Resilete whiskey and then and then meet up here The goal being that like all my infantry is gonna mostly hold I'm only gonna really push with the tanks actually. Let me take check my Hmm, I wonder if I can afford to make some more infantry Yes, indeed I can another 24 would be awesome so that I could Continuously shift my front line and have these 24 surround the ones that uh... Let's See like if I give it a day around the ones I encircle. Oh, I could do more than this. Oh, this would be awesome. This would be awesome. Yes, thank you very much. Nice. Okay, cool. Very, very, very cool. So then eventually I can uh, have a field marshal who's strictly a panzer guy. I'll probably promote uh, George Lebdor here. Or something like that. Probably not. Yeah, maybe the. Yeah, maybe this entrenchment guy. Or no, no, no. Eric Musam. This is gonna be the one. I'll promote him to a field marshal, and uh, have him in charge of all my tanks. So, uh, <clears throat> now we don't. We're we're doing. Well, we're not doing great on manpower because of what I just queued up. So we're gonna start heading down towards the uh, the Frauenkor. And I've got a decent amount of political power, so I might. Hmm. I'm probably going to increase my conscription law. Or, better yet, maybe... Let's see, I'll be able to get the war bonds. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably increase my conscription law, then go to total mobilization when I get the chance, and then do women in the workforce. And in the meantime, we're going to go down here towards the Frauenkor just so we can get some quick uh, recruitable population to mobilize. Also, what am I researching? Uh, the fire brigades. On second thought, this can definitely wait. We're going to instead come over here and research field hospitals. 
because industry is not a problem, population is going to be the problem. Um, the war is going to begin in just a couple of minutes here. Keeping Trotsky. Or, oh, it's like this is going to be the Russian, or I'll call this the, maybe the Soviet Liberation Force, or Soviet. The Soviet Army, the Soviet Army, yeah, Trotsky's, or Trotsky's troops, let's keep it simpler. Trotsky's troops, sorry, it's been five minutes and we haven't even started yet. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so they're cooperating with the Brits, uh, okay, this could be a serious problem, what does that mean? Proposes Anglo-Russian cooperation. Like allies? Well, well, in any case, in any case. Uh, now, uh, we gotta wait for them to call in Galicia. Which they have not yet. Or can I draw, I forget, can I draw the front line if they're not called in? No, I can't. I have to wait for them to call in Galicia. And, uh, oh, I didn't even draw this front line order. So something like that. Uh, we can invite to a faction J the Japanese Empire. Mm, don't really care. Don't want them. They, they already got their butts kicked by China. I don't think that's going to help me in the slightest. Okay, meanwhile over here. Let's start our push. Our push is... Uh, Mongolia just joined. There we go, Galatia's in. Alright, they called in all their allies. Let's come down here to Trotsky. Got our... We're gonna get our nice big front line, like so. But the only thing he's for is to help fill it in. We're using up a lot of fuel now. Uh, he doesn't... The Russians do not appear to be attacking me anywhere at all. All right, let's go. Only thing I'm pushing with is my tanks. Everybody is entrenched, let them stay entrenched. Uh, and we're just keeping an eye on these areas. The And just keep splitting people off a little bit. Um, hopefully not getting too far ahead of the infantry. Just trying to generally keep everybody together. How do you eat a whale, right? One bite at a time. So things I'm a little weak here on the southern front. Uh, the reorganization is kind of messy. Um, it actually looks like in the south we can push well, so let's do that. Yeah, hopefully it'll just kind of... Oh, we're being invited by the Japanese. That's going to be a hard no for me, but non-aggression packs I will take. Afghanistan. Can we invite them? Nice. Welcome to the team. Everyone knows Afghanistan is Russia's weakness. It is many empires' weakness. And they will stand with us and we will be victorious. Okay, let's try to get up here to Warsaw. Now, uh, I'm not going to be victory point sniping because... This Imperial Russia, I think, will have even even with uh, actually it's going to be even worse with Turkestan gone because I know sometimes they, they they'll pick up a couple of victory points over here, but like without Vladivostok being taken because Vladivostok's worth how much fifteen you know that's a decent amount but uh, without Vladivostok being taken I have no doubt we're going to have to go past the Urals so I am not in the least concerned about victory points I am concerned with destroying their army. Okay, you guys need to stop attacking over this river. Come over here. You know, it would be wonderful if we could grab, uh, if we if he could get um, the urban warfare trait, but uh, we're not going to plan on that. All right. Let's see, right here. We're try to create a big Polish pocket. We are pushing in the south, yes, but that's only because there's plenty of green bubbles. Let's look at the initial casualty differences. 
It's about 10 to 1. That's great, but it's definitely not going to last. Um, one of you hold and pivot in. Pivot in like so. Kind of wish my infantry would fill this up a little quicker. But let's also try to maybe get one of you into this Galatian era, area. Get behind the mountains. That would be terrific. That's it! We've got the encirclement. Too easy, everybody. Too freaking easy. Alright, it's not. there's not too much in here. You know, definitely less than 100 divisions, I would say, uh, in this area. So now we need to we need to be a come on come on come on come on come on come this way come this way we need to just uh, widen this uh, okay how's this how's this going already yeah it's gonna take a long time before I can get these out uh, fuel is going fantastic could not be happier uh, it's like we're actually still gaining fuel even with all these tanks running around so it's going very very well um, split this off let's try to rush over it whenever I can try to get over one of these rivers quickly I'm gonna uh, and you know still we're only at 14,000 casualties and I'm sure that most of this is in the south here where I'm, I'm pushing probably unnecessarily hard uh, I think I might make some motorized divisions too, or maybe I should just save them for. You know, come, come here, and you come there. Save them for uh, you know my troops that are in the field and for the eventual. Um, come on, try to come, try to come down here to Lowell, and uh, the eventual hospital divisions I'm going to incorporate into my army. Okay, I'm really stretching out my tanks, probably too much, but again, I'm trying to I'm trying to take advantage of their confusion, the general confusion right now, the early part of the war. Uh, you know, making sure you know, making sure to make sure that trying to make it so that there's more than one tile separating these encircled uh, the encircled Russian forces from their comrades. So that uh, oh wow, look, they just left this wide open. I will happily fill this area in then. You've got to take Memel. This is this is German clay. Very important. Okay, really? Look, there's more tiles right here, everybody. Alright, we're not gonna be able to get into the capital, but uh I think I think we are sufficiently we sufficiently have these guys encircled. It is just gonna be a matter of time. And this is gonna go better once I've got those other divisions ready to go. Uh, now, I think it is time for some reorganization because things are already starting to get messy. Supply is still good though. We got to keep a close eye on the supply. Just noticed uh, this mistake I made. Ernst's uh, Ernst, Ernst, uh, Elites with a Z. Look at this. How strong could this division be? All right, now we are not mobilizing at all. Um, I think actually army logistics might be better right now, or we could do the total mobilization. No, that's a terrible idea to do that first. So we're gonna we are gonna go to service by requirement, which really is not gonna add that much because we already have blood and steel as well as military youth, but it'll help just a little bit. How's Argentina doing? Argentina? Did I say come on, get Argentina? Uh, <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> okay. Now we need to. Uh, I'd love to encircle Galicia as a whole here. So let's, um, let's take these brown tanks under Hans. Do something like this towards Kiev we're gonna rename these tanks also these are gonna now be Hans hammers he's gonna be my number one tank general after this maybe 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 not I don't know uh, he'll be but he'll be under uh, Eric they just left Warsaw open 
You absolute fools! Have this one tank come in here and just pin pin these guys down for a second. They're they're gonna there goes Warsaw. This is gonna be the biggest. This is gonna be the this is the biggest source of supply. Uh, this pocket. So it's good and over for them now. Now, uh, as for my light tanks, let's continue to put pressure, get over this river wherever we can. Uh, it looks like they don't they don't know whether they're coming or they're going right now. And uh, we're not pushing too hard here. They're continuing. Never mind. No, they're not. I was about to say they're continuing to hold this mountain line, but no. Uh, I think they're trying to now get out of this pocket. They've realized the kind of trouble that they're in. Yeah, come over here. Just a few tiles separate us. And we can get a nice big Glacia pocket. Good, solid eastern front. Yes. This War of Revenge is going terrifically. But... We can't let ourselves get too stretched out. We gotta close these pockets, close them up. You see, they they were able to get back to Warsaw in time. Um, will you come this way? All right, all right, all right. Come on, tanks, just drive right through it. This is empty land. It's free real estate. Yeah, go go wherever it's empty. Oh boy, Grondo, this would be another. Just any any time I can get over the. Uh, the river, that's that's fantastic. If I can get over a river without a fight, that's pretty ideal. Uh, we're, we're just about to break through. We're about to get a, a, a tank connection right here. Less than a day. Let's stop these reinforcements from interfering. Come up here. Alright, now how, how about these? Uh, Okay, even these military police are not ready yet, because I'm sure that we're going to have resistance, and I don't want to be spending all day repairing things because partisans are destroying them. But this is good, this is good. And also, take note of the time. Uh, we are only, It's only going to get warmer. We are far, far from winter. Ah, they were able to get somebody here in these mountains. What's the casualty ratio? See, it's def it's significantly dropped. There was only that initial advantage we got, but come on, let's see. Can we get into Odessa here? Really wish that one dude had finished the mod where he labels every river. Remember, he was that was that, that was like two years ago. That dude started on it. Whoever he was, and uh, I don't think it's gonna get finished. It was a cool idea though. Maybe Paradox should just do that. Have a setting where you can label rivers. Actually, let's make sure there isn't already something like that, so I don't look like a fool. But yeah, have something here in the game where you can check mark, uh, like show river names or something. Come on, we're pushing them in two different tiles here, but they're really stacking them up. Look at that, they got like 50 divisions in this area. No wonder they're so desperate to stop me. They know the consequences if I get this encirclement. They're fully aware of it. Ah, there's the problem. We've got we're getting reinforcements coming in from within the circle. We need to stop that. Okay, we're five days away from getting this. Supply. See, now we're starting to have some supply issues, but what a coup this would be. Because they've got, what, maybe 400 divisions? Roughly double what I've got. If I could get these two encirclements here, that would be great. Three more days. Stop. Okay, wait, no, no. Hold. Come, come this way. We gotta stop these guys. We gotta stop those reinforcements. Okay, we'll push them back a little bit here, too. See, I don't want them to notice that I've only got one tank division watching this tile. And they just noticed. <laughs> they just noticed! Okay. I'm starting to get some bad uh, division overlap here. Um, okay. Check this out. This is a bad idea, but we're going to have the rest of my forces uh, go on the offensive as well here. Just to just to pin divisions down everywhere as much as I can. 
How's this going? Six more days. Come on. Come on now. Five days. Shoot. Kidding me with this reinforce rate? Are you kidding me, bro? We might be able to take them in the forest here. It looks like all three of the divisions that are holding the spot are leaving. There goes the motorized. And this guy is going to be gone in one day. And we'll just move in. We'll just move this division here. Uh, let me see now. He's caught. We'll catch him as he's moving out. We're almost there. Almost there. That's it. That's it. We're going to get it now. Mobilization is going very well. Got a nice uh, fallback amount. We're nearly out of light tanks, though. So let's come down here, and we're just gonna—you know—we're just gonna completely max that out. Okay, that's done. Um, start taking these ahead of time. Maybe not the best idea, though. Uh, it's almost forty-two. Maybe I can increase these as well. Equipment capture ratio could be good, or we go with a little more defense. can't do artillery yet because I'm still waiting on that one uh actually what we're gonna do is I am gonna get desperate defense for that uh, that recruitable population I know if I wanted recruitable population I should have just done mass assault but um, I think I think it'll it'll be good for me in the long run so I can just get more, just sheer numbers of divisions in the field. Uh, but we got the encirclement. This means you three can all stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Uh, are these, okay, this this infantry template is ready to go now. So let's send them out. Yes, I know they're green. I'm fully aware. Uh, send those 24 out as well. And we have another 24 here. Okay, check this out. Here's what we're going to do. Um... At least at first. I'll reorganize them later. But um, we are going to... Let's get that. That. And that. Whoops. No, 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 no. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. So this is... Fourth Reserve Army. I get a commander. No, we'll, we'll wait on uh, getting these guys commanders, but it's eventually. So this is the 4th Reserve Army. This is the 5th Reserve Army. Okay, and uh, I'm again, I'm fully aware that they do not have experience right now. They're green, but the only thing they are going to be for... Ten, I just put on an accent there for a second. Only thing they are there for is... Uh, but they're only here to uh, deal with, they're specifically there to deal with um, divisions that have, or like the encirclements. So these are, these are armies that are losing their organization anyway. And um, this will allow me to reorganize the front line and keep my actually good units on the front here. Um, we will have a couple of these though come here like that okay, so that's army army group north so basically army group north can continue to work in the north and and so on and so forth let's do do this like right here yeah do that little number you keep going to petrograd army group central you're gonna um, go from here, south, to about, um, yeah, I'd say about here. Kiev will be the pivot, like so. And then army group south, you're going to be about there. Okay. Okay. 
And I'm putting these little cheap 20 myth divisions just to add um, you know, more more people on the line uh, here where these cutoffs are. Now I'd like it if I could just stick around and wait uh, to to destroy them, uh, to just wait until their organization goes away. But uh, they're going to keep pushing back, so we have to. They're going to keep counterattacking, trying to get through. So we have to actively uh, be attacking into these pockets. And uh, so to help with that, we're going to have these tanks come in here and try to deal with that. Meanwhile, we're going to have my, uh, we're going to just, at least for now, put these guys up here, have them clear out some of these other areas. Uh, still not dealing with any occupation issues, so that's good. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just going to wait. We're gonna we're gonna stabilize the front here. You know, of course, as you can see, though they are uh, they they have quite a few gaps in the line at the moment. But uh, mostly, we're just gonna close kill these pockets. You know, reorganize, and then we'll keep moving. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Although I haven't actually. When did the war start? Was it like late February? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I guess when I upload this video, I'll go back and check, but this is, uh, this is very good. Everybody's coming in. Uh, we do not have any supply issues, which is fantastic. Uh, going to start, I'm going to start building infrastructure along the way in these, a lot of these areas, just making sure we have the, the supply, the, the supply must flow. Look, you see, see, look at this. This is very, very, very good right here. My tanks are going to make short work of this. And then uh, what I'll probably do once it stabilizes, we are next going to make a drive up to Petrograd. But let's see if I can't uh, close this pocket up right now. Where are my tanks? There they are. See, the Galician army is uh, really not encircled at all. That's another thing we have to remember here, because their capital is there. But we have isolated them from Imperial Russia, which is the important part. Let's take a look, incidentally, before we close these pockets. So we've taken 143,000 ca casualties. They've taken 314, which, uh, you know, if you just look here, is not a good ratio. But it's the situation, it's, they're not that much better than me, really, because, again, we have better industry. I'm sure we're building better divisions, like our, we have higher quality divisions. Uh, 105 days away from getting field hospitals. See, that's going to be cool so we can uh, hold on to experience as we lose people. And uh, yeah, they're just giving me some of these river areas for free. Look at that, we might be able to get to Kiev at this rate. Come on. I need my light tanks to be slicing in all the time. Very good, very good. Next up is total mobilization. That's the goal anyway, or probably more than that. Uh, so actually, ugh, we can't do Workers' Congress. I was going to say, let's do Workers' Congress so I can get the political power, but I'm not allowed to when I'm at war. So um, I think what we will do instead is, yeah, let's just keep coming down here. Uh, okay, we're done arming the masses. This is going to give me motorized divisions, which I really don't care about. Yeah, but, but let's let's see what the Russian casualty figures look like after we close these pockets up. I might make this a little bit longer episode than normal just so I could do that. You know what? We're good on manpower. Let's uh Oh jeez, it's gonna be fifty five to get a new commander here. Never mind. Never mind. They're hanging in there. You really just don't know how to say quit, do they? Okay. Is this one little tile here? No, no, that's... Okay. I thought that was a teeny, teeny, tiny tile. 
Okay, cool. So now the liberation tankies are all set. So yeah, I do need to think about where do I want them to go. I think again, I think taking Petrograd will be really good for me. You know, it's it's a pretty big population center. Not as big as Moscow though. Hmm. We are running out of tanks. We're right on the borderline with them, so we need to slow down. So I think what I'll do then, instead of going for an encirclement at this exact moment, though do I really want to extend the line more? No, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I could just adjust it. Uh, but we're going to start aiming for Petrograd with the tanks. Just clean up the Baltic area here, uh, take away virtually any chance of them uh, getting a, getting an encirclement in on me, or getting a naval invasion on me. Although, I guess technically they could go all the way around Scandinavia, hit me here in Bremen or Hamburg, but uh, that would be kind of weird. I don't think the AI would think that way. Hmm... Get Krakow. Might we at least clean up this pocket? There we go. There we go. And we're just gonna micro. We're not even gonna. We're not gonna hit any regular attack orders. We're just gonna come on up here with them. Wear him down, wear him down. Look at that, we've cut him in half again. Yeah, this is just gonna be just gonna be an extra long episode. Happy little accidents with extra long episodes. Look at this! We've got like oh almost 30 divisions on this one tile here. I can't wait to look at the casualties. Cannot wait. It's gonna be amazing. we can go to three speed uh-oh uh-oh uh, a couple people got lost in the woods or something that's fine where they're gonna catch right up no problem whatsoever and again we're just we're just coming over uh getting over a river with virtually no opposition These are probably a lot of their best troops in here. And they can have a hundred... Yeah, like I said, they can have... I think I remember he said they can have a hundred million manpower. And it won't matter if they don't have guns. And I definitely have better industry than they do. Look at that. So what do they got? Let's round it up. Say at max they have 200. I've got almost double that. Only issue is the manpower. But uh, incidentally, I don't know if I said this before, but... The Russian worker is going to be a key part of the continued expansion of the German Socialist Republic. So we're not going to have manpower issues anymore after this war. So I'm fine with kind of taking us a little bit toward the limit right now. Because eventually, because after the war, there's no such thing as manpower problems. That's the plan anyway. You know, mice and men and whatnot. Let's see how it goes. Almost to Kiev. Now I gotta pay attention once we come down here to the Crimea because the lines, the lines can get the front lines can get a little bit weird. Probably this, uh, not this one, but the other 24, uh, 24 divisions of 20 widths. These ones here, there I've got in the middle and the teal. Uh, we're gonna probably put them specifically in charge of the Crimea. And we'll look for more encirclements, but uh, with those two big ones, it's going to be less a priority now. Now we can get the advanced anti-tank. Terrific. Uh-oh, I'm five years away from running out of fuel. I'm getting greedy, guys. <laughs> and, but look, you see, if we just look at victory points, we're only 10% of the way there. So again, the goal is to kill their armies. Yep. 
Okay, we have way too many divisions assigned here considering they're all dying. <laughs> there you go. Wow, how is that? Look at that. I should have gotten a, I should have grabbed a screenshot when uh, when the encirclements were at their peak. Okay, let's try to remember what what were the Russian casualties at? Like 400,000 and change soon at the end before the episode's over once I've closed this pocket we're gonna look at that again I think I was at a hundred thousand and change Okay, okay. How's this? Terrific! See, I'm actually, I'm really not operating all this as efficiently, as efficiently as I could be. Doing a good job, you know, piercing easily all these Russian tanks. I need to concentrate my tanks, actually. They're way too spread out up here. But, uh, just, we're nearly done here. Yeah, they, they've, they've filled the line back up, though. Let's take a look here. You see, I'm noticing a lot more cavalry. They still have some higher quality divisions, though, yet. We haven't we haven't completely broken their backs or anything. It's uh, This is far from over. We'll get another encir a small encirclement here. We're going to try anyway. Uh, but that's it. All right, we took Lao. Uh, that's it. It's all cleaned up. There, okay, wow. So there was about 2 million men in that pocket, roughly. And it cost me, let's say, 100,000 to to kill them. That's not even accounting for it. Look at this, 400,000 casualties by Glacia. 2 million man encirclement. Not too shabby, I think. So uh, in the next episode, we will continue going into Russia. Hans Hammers need something to do. Hans Hammers, I meant. Uh, they need something to do, although I'm seeing there are some supply issues here, but it's probably because I just have way too many people assigned there. Uh, we'll fix that up in a minute, and uh, we're going to try to go to total mobilization soon. And what I, what I might actually do, this is going to sound weird, but I might, I'm debating if I will probably take the Frauenkorps, or maybe that's just take anything at all now, because we are mobilizing, so that way I can get more political power per day, and so I could switch to... Um, total mobilization kind of quick although on the other hand maybe I want to save that because I'm not at war with anybody but Russia so I don't want to go to total mobilization and then spend the money to have women in the workforce if I'm only gonna have them in the workforce for a little bit but good ratio I think almost 10 over 10 to 1 with the casualties uh, they still have plenty to go and I'm sure they probably have some sort of national spirit yeah half a percent recruitable population there two and a half there uh, yeah, they, uh, they're they not going to run out of any manpower. In fact, I'd be willing to bet that they're mobilizing right now. Because wasn't it wasn't this lower before? And I've only inflicted casualties, so I'm pretty sure that this used to be higher. Uh, but yeah, in the next episode, maybe we will topple Russia. We will, uh, we will have to see how that turns out. And uh, then we can think about what we're going to do with the Allies. Logistics are good. Yeah, this is uh, this is going terrific. 62 days away from field hospitals. I'll see you then. I am Conquering History Games. Bye.